We are constantly looking for a solution to a certain problem we may be having. Nowadays, it seems like artificial intelligence may be that solution, and probably will be that solution for many years to come. AI is not merely a, a science fiction anymore. It is a reality. It is our reality. What is AI? AI is an area of computer science that emphasizes the creation of intelligent machines and how they work and react as humans. Google uh, driverless, uh, driverless cars seem to be the biggest craze nowadays, with companies like BMW and Tesla already in the works of the perfect driverless car. It seems like it's only a matter of time before they hit the streets, and it may be the biggest achievement of AI ever. Though AI has been around since the 1950s, we are only now seeing its practical uses and how it can affect our world. Google Duplex is another recent example of AI. Duplex is the software behind Google's automated system. It can place calls and make appointments on your behalf with a more natural-sounding voice rather than a robotic one. According to Google, Duplex can understand complex sentences, long phrases, and fast speech. So, parents. Next time you call your child on a night out, make sure it's actually them you're talking to. <laughs> so um, IBM and IBM and Google are already in the works of their greatest achievements in AI. So the opportunities are endless. With incredible funding from major big companies, like I said, the opportunities are endless. I will be exploring three main uh, topics of AI in healthcare today. The first being the early, early uh, the first being the early detection of cancerous cells, robotic assistant, robotic assisted surgery, as well as accurate diagnostic and decision making. So, how does AI link to healthcare? Healthcare may be the way for AI to make its biggest impact on the world. It is a matter of reaction versus proaction. It is a matter of Computer-based solutions versus human-generated algorithms. As Dr. Robert Pearl put it, it is a matter of machine learning versus deep learning. Machine learning relies on neural networks, a computer system based on the human brain. This type of learning enables computers to simulate like the human brain, making it impossible for the programmers who develop the system to accurately predict how the program will derive solutions. Deep learning, on the other hand, refers to uh, l makes the software learn to recognize patterns itself. These types of systems are based off of the human-generated uh, algorithms that humans create. In healthcare today, these are becoming increasingly useful, as the solutions take everything into account, from size, shape, to even color. For example, a particular deep learning system will be able to detect cancer at the single cell level. The healthcare market for AI is growing tremendously, with lots of funding from big-name companies like IBM and Google, like I said before. Okay, to start off with early detection of cancerous cells. According to the American Cancer Society, 12.1 million mammograms are performed annually. However, only half of these yield accurate results, meaning that one in every two healthy women are diagnosed with cancer. This leads to them taking unnecessary biopsies, which is a necessary but invasive procedure that takes a tissue or fluid around the uh, cancerous area for analyzing. And like I said before, this is done unnecessarily due to the false mammogram testing. 20% of every mammogram that is done that led to a biopsy is done unnecessarily. According to the Houston Methodist Research Institute in Texas, a, tra a software that reviews and translates mammogram findings 30 times faster and 99% more accurate has been developed. The institute used the software to scan patient charts, to collect diagnostic features, and also to correlate it with each breast cancer subtype. Clinicians used the processed uh, data and they used it to accurately predict the patient's probability of breast cancer. 
The early detection of breast cancer, the most prevalent cancer in UK, can save many women's lives. And this software, this system, can be related to many other cancers, and hopefully, in the in the future, find us help us find a cure. Now let's move on to robot-assisted surgery. Robot-assisted surgery is another useful application of AI in the healthcare market. Particular cognitive surgical robots, as seen in the middle there, use uh, past experiences of surgical uh, of surgeries, and they use it to improve a surgeon's technique. The technique enhances the surgeon's instrument precision by 21 percent, and it decreases the length of hospital stay of a patient post-operation by 53 percent. A particular technique called the Da Vinci technique allows the surgeon to perform complex procedures on intricate areas, on small incisions, with a 3D view of the uh, surgical site. The Da Vinci robot. Considered to be the world's most advanced robot, has limbs that are that have surgical instruments attached to them, and like I said, they produce a 3D a magnified view so that the surgeon can actually see where they're operating on. However, a surgeon, as seen on the left, has to control the robotic limbs from an operating machine close to the operating table. The Da Vinci robot immensely helps surgeons perform surgeries in tight spaces while reducing the margin of error. Also in, in, also in use is the Healthlander robot. It's a small miniature robot that can enter the heart through a small incision below the sternum and can successfully map and analyze the entire surface of the heart. This allows one device to map and analyze the entire surface of the heart with accurate results. They are also used to provide treatments and, make, and can even treat the heart and repair, and repair things that are damaged. With the implementation of AI in surgical processes, the margin of error and the surgery time are reduced. The length of hospital stay also decreases, allowing patients to go back to their lives as as quick as possible. Diagnosis and decision making. You may be thinking, what what is diagnosis and decision making? But on top of both robot-assisted surgery as well as、uh, Early detection of cancer, diagnosis and decision making is one of the most important uses of AI in healthcare. IBM, a large contributor to AI, developed a computer system called Watson, which is helping healthcare organizations implement cognitive technology to unlock a variety of health data. Watson can review and store far more data, far more information, exponentially faster than the human brain, any human brain. Google also developed a diagnosis and decision-making software. This is called DeepMind Health. DeepMind Health is working with clinicians and researchers to co- to color real-world real-world health healthcare problems. The technology uses machine learning to build powerful learning algorithms that mimic the human brain, using pattern recognition to identify. Patients at risk of developing a condition is another area where AI is starting to take hold in healthcare. How how does this affect us? Though AI may seem to be the greatest thing in the world, it is not perfect. There are many there are many concerns, and for good reason. For example, there is lack of human oversight once AI starts to get more advanced. This leads room for, mar- to, for machine error, and s- patients might not feel exactly safe in the hands of a machine. Despite these concerns, the growing involvement of AI in healthcare is inevitable. As you can see here, the market growth from 2014 to 2021 is expected to be 11 times, with an average revenue of 6.6 billion dollars in 2021. Also, the top 10. AI applications in healthcare are valued at 150 billion U.S. dollars. In conclusion, I have all. There are many applications of AI in healthcare. I've only talked about these three, but maybe it's time for you guys to go home, research on your own, and maybe you'll understand where I'm coming from. AI is the future.
Considering the many applications of artificial intelligence in healthcare, it really is hard to not be excited for the future. Thank you.